there's one thing in this world that everybody would like to change, it's suicide. Now, suicide has become a leading cause of death in the USA today. In 1990, the rate of suicide was 12.5 out of 100,000 people who would commit suicide annually in the United States. That ratio decreased to 10.4 in 2000, but increased to 12.1 out of 100,000 people in 2010. That is why I decided that the parabolograph would be best fit to my representation of suicide. Unfortunately, others have not been so lucky with their struggle with depression. Methods of suicide consist of self-inflicted gunshot wounds, suffocation, poisoning, and other grotesque means of taking one's life. In total, suicide costs $42 billion, whether that be from a lack of work being dealt or the expenses for recovering from an attempted suicide annually. The highest amount of suicide by age is 85 and up, and the white ethnicity being the majority of suicides in all. From 1990 to 2010, males are 78.9% of suicides and females being 21.1%. There are many outlets of depression, and one of those outlets is music. Although there are many others, Skillet and Flyleaf would be the most well known for their inspiring and deep songs. Songs from Skillet, such as Rise and Sick of It, speak of the world's problems and real world depression. Flyleaf, however, with songs like Again and I'm So Sick, discuss love and finding savior through Jesus and the Almighty Lord. Even the lead singer from Flyleaf, Lacey Sturm, has had suicidal thoughts. And I remember thinking, I'm tired of the pain in my heart. I'm tired of going to bed that way. I'm tired of feeling like a burden. I remember the night I laid in bed and I knew I was gonna commit suicide the next day. I knew that I was not gonna live past tomorrow. On the day that I planned to commit suicide, I came home from school and my grandma was there and she wasn't supposed to be there. And she looked at me and said, there's something wrong with you. You're gonna go to church. I was like, no way I'm going to church. And she screamed at the top of her lungs like we were fighting back and forth and I just didn't want to listen to her yell anymore. And so I decided, fine, I'll go. And then afterwards, I'll go ahead and follow through with my plan. So I went to the back of the church and slumped down in my chair and hated everybody in the room. And the pastor started speaking and I hated him more than anyone. And he says, there's a suicidal spirit in the room. And of course, all the hair stood up on the back of my neck and I was, well, this is really weird. <laughs> And I got up and went to the door. A white-headed man was standing there and he stopped me. And it was like, the Lord wants me to speak to you. He wants you to know that even though you've never known an earthly father, that God will be a better father to you than any earthly father could ever be. Thankfully, she was able to overcome suicide from the help of her grandmother and go on to lead a very successful life. Thank you for watching. And I hope this will empower you to find yours and others' own saviors and winning the battle of depression and ultimately non-suicidal actions. And again, thank you.